Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be learning how to grow and maintain an effective email list in 2024. Let's jump right into these strategies because they're going to be game changing. All right, as we all know, in today's digital age and world, if you're running an e-commerce brand, you sort of need to run emails as well. So you need to build a good and optimized list to send campaigns out to. Your email list serves as a direct pathway for your audience and you to sort of communicate. It's almost like you're talking one-on-one, -on -one, except you can send them emails and they can purchase your products. It's really a communication channel between brand owner and customer. Now, what you need to do is nurture these relationships, drive sales through these campaign emails, and ultimately expand and grow your business. So what we found here is that the ROI on email marketing in e-commerce industry is about $45 per $1 spent. So for every $1 spent on emails, typical e-commerce brands are earning $45 back, which is a huge, huge increase from what typical ad spend would be like in Facebook. All right, we'll jump into why you actually need a strong email list in the first place. Your email list is the cornerstone of your e-commerce marketing strategy. It allows you to connect with your audience on a personal level delivering tailored content and offers straight to their inbox. It's like I said, that sort of one-way communication. It's always like being able to speak to customers face-to-face -face, as you would in a brick and mortar store, except we can do it directly through the customer's phones. With social media algorithms in a constant flux and organic reach declining with more competition, an email list provides a reliable channel to engage with your customers unaffected by algorithm updates. But how are we going to drive people to actually sign up to our email list? Looking at my first strategy here, we have the giveaway method, which is one that I personally like to use to just really drive in emails and customer inflow of traffic. So what you do is by utilizing targeted Facebook ad campaigns, we can showcase irresistible giveaways or exclusive offers to our target customer, which will lead to direct traffic to your website. An example of this would be to offer a free product. Say you're selling dog food. You're going to offer, here's 12 months of a dog supply or three months of dog food supply for your pet to entice your target customer into actually giving you their email. By leveraging Facebook's precise targeting options, we can actually reach your ideal audience. You can run Facebook ads. You can probably find other tutorials on that or I can put one together myself, but it's sort of just a lead generation campaign leading to a funnel that will ultimately get them to sign up their email. Some content ideas that you could do for this Facebook ad is you got a TikTok style, style skit video showcasing the product and then a giveaway. So something funny, something engaging with your type of target audience. Example number two, we have a product showcase video alluring to the giveaway on your website. It's just a basic, you show the features off why we're giving it away how you can win it, blah, blah, blah. You get the point. And number three is just an image ad that's pretty self-explanatory. But how do we actually collect those emails? Well, you need to implement strategically placed opt-ins on your website. Offering for members to enter their email or phone number and be entered into the giveaway. Having a direct page set up for customers to click straight off Facebook and be able to enter is crucial to ensure you aren't wasting any extra ad spend. An example of this would just be you install a pop-up on your homepage or onto a new web page that you can link the customers to, and this will just motivate them to join your list. It's that simple. Bonus tip, this is a big one. A lot of brand owners mistake on this and actually get false leads instead, which is gonna make you spend more money and convert less. Make sure your new signups must verify their email list. If they're not verifying their email, you're just going to be sending out to blank emails and that's gonna decrease your conversions decrease your open rates, increase your bounce rates, increase your spam rates, and your email is gonna get blocked. You're just gonna get shut down by Google if you do this over a consistent period. And you're wasting money on Klaviyo anyway by sending out emails to people that don't exist. The first step, we have welcoming new subscribers to your brand. Now, this is an important one. A lot of people do skip over this one as well. So once your subscribers join your actual email list, it's crucial to extend a warm welcome and introduce them to your brand. Welcome emails play a pivotal role in establishing trust and familiarity with your audience. While they may not be immediately leading to conversions, welcome emails lay the groundwork for future engagement and purchases. 
you're not going to be converting off of welcome emails. You might, if we have seen that people sometimes convert off of welcome emails because people click through or you put a discount in there, but it's not your main source of revenue, like an abandoned cart or checkout flow. Instead, what these are going to do is engage with your audience, show them about your product and allow them to understand your brand and f connect on a personal level. All right, heading over to Clavian here, I'm going to show you what a sort of example would look like. It wouldn't be exactly like this. This is more of a basic setup, but this is something you could implement into your strategy to warm up your leads and get them engaged with your brand, get them excited about being a part of something better, like you want to stand out from your competition. So you just have your, your triggers when somebody is signing up, they'll get added to the email list. And I like to put a conditional split. So this is if we're running a discounted strategy. If somebody has placed an order, we've, we'll say, all right, we've got a gift for you. It'll be $10 off, $20 off, something like that. You know, you know your gifts, your offers. And if they've already an existing customer, you would just say, thank for subscribing because you wouldn't want to re-discount them. Then you'd wait a day or something, give a little reminder. This isn't optimal for engaging leads. This is more just if somebody does a new sign up from join our VIP program or something like that, or the 10% welcome offer discounts. Instead, what you would be doing is sending an email, showcasing your brand. Here we have an example. Why are we the best? Tell your, tell your customers why you're the best. Tell them why they should purchase from you, why you stand out from your competition, and what's actually making a difference from your brand. Then you would wait a couple of days again and probably give out some testimonials. I love to give testimonials. They convert really well. People can see other people using your products. People like them. Your target audience can see other people like them purchasing your product. How powerful is that? Because then they can visualize or how it's actually going to feel in their hands, how they're actually going to use your product. Making sure to continue engagement through marketing campaigns and ultimately lead to more sales. So consistent communication is the key to maintaining engagement with your email subscribers. After welcoming new subscribers, sustain their interest through regular marketing campaigns about your products. Whether you're highlighting new products, sharing valuable content, or offering exclusive discounts, consistent email communication keeps your brand at the top of mind and encourages repeat purchases. Basically what I'm saying here is when you're sending out email campaigns, which we all know what are, it's the sales emails that are going to drive sales to your store. By following up with this now email list, this is how you're going to convert to sales. Once you've built the email list, you can actually still sell them further even if they've purchased before, they can still purchase more products ahead of time. I'll show you an example of a Christmas email that we've sent out. So it's for a brand we helped called Sneaky Dex. This was a Christmas campaign email. The discount was, we're giving an extra $15 off our Christmas sale. You've got a nice little banner here. You can set this up however you want. Designing it yourself, I would recommend getting it professionally done. That's how you're gonna convert. Getting someone to do what they know how to do best and they know how to make conversions happen. So it's really simple. This is what a campaign email looks like. Optimize buttons, click through actions. I got a video that I posted a couple of days ago on optimizing these sort of things. So if you want to check something out like that, you can go into the top right. It might be there. Or you can just click on my channel. It's really that easy. I'd love to put these in here. But like just driving people to think, oh, these will look great on you. We don't even know what they look like. It could look great on them. But when you segment your email list, you can decide, okay, what's the gender of this customer? Should I recommend female products, male products, or do I just recommend the best selling items? Because you may not have female to male orientated products. You could just be selling dog products. Oh, but it could be cat or dog. You know what I mean? Anyway, closing off here, we'll have our fifth point, transitioning from giveaways to long-term engagement. So while giveaways and exclusive offers are effective for initial list growth, it's crucial to focus on long-term engagement and retention strategies. Consider transitioning from one-off promotions to ongoing initiatives such as VIP access programs or loyalty schemes, rewarding subscribers for their continued engagement, fosters lasting relationships, and encourages brand loyalty. A strategy I like to do is allude to the fact that you're joining a VIP program 
your customer is going to be a part of something bigger than just any normal brand. If you're running a clothing store or one of those clothing pop-up brands, you know what I mean? All those Instagram brands. You want your community to feel something different about your brand. There's so much competition. And when you create that personal connection with the audience, that's how you really drive sales and build a lasting community. It's how you increase your monthly recurring revenue because customers keep coming back. We'll go to a special bonus point here. Once you're finished with the giveaway, which it'll maybe last for a couple of weeks, a couple of days even, you could. I'd probably write it for a week or two just to let Facebook optimize. Make sure to create a new pop-up for your website visitors to encourage new signups and more sales. An example would be just go back to a $10 off your next purchase. Whatever your offer was before, or if you want to create a new offer, go and do that. Another offer I like to use if you don't want to give away sort of sales or money off because you're already running short on margins is sign up and join our exclusive VIP program. Allude to the fact that you're going to give future value in these emails, provide insights, and really customers just want value from you. If they're signing up to the email list, they want to hear more from you. So communicate effectively through good designs, good copy, and you're going to increase your sales and really build a great email list. All right, thanks guys. That's the end of our video here. Hopefully you gain some value on how to actually build a optimized and converting email list in 2024. I know there's a lot of videos out there explaining how to do it, but nobody's actually providing guides or strategies on how you could actually drive traffic to these pop-ups or anything. People just tell you to put a pop-up up and that's it. If you want access to this document for yourself, there's going to be a link in the description. You can just copy it over and edit it yourself or see a direct sort of transcript of everything that was in it. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video.